All right, in this uh, video, I want to go over a problem in chapter P.4. This is the binomial distribution section in the textbook. And uh, note right here, I have uh, another video I made uh, a year ago uh, answering and um, going over binomial distribution and talking about what it means and then using uh, GeoGebra to answer questions. So I'm going to go over one more of these um, binomial probability questions. So I'm just looking at number six as an example, and I want to I want to write some stuff down before we jump into the online calculator. So we've got copy this over really quick. All right, so this uh, again is number six on uh, P.4 homework. In the 2010 U.S. Census, we learned that all of housing units are owner occupied. Um, oh, sorry, we learned that 65% of all housing units, yep, 65% of all housing units are owner-occupied, while the rest are rented. Use this information to find the following probabilities. If we take a random sample of 15 housing units, find the probability that exactly 10 of them are owner-occupied. Okay, so, um, write down some stuff first. We have fixed sample size, which is the fixed number of trials, and we denote that with n equals 15. So for binomial probabilities, we need to have a fixed number of trials, uh, a success is a home occupied by owner, and we have a fixed probability of a single success given right here. That's that 65%. So the notation for this is P, lowercase p, equals 0 0.65. And uh, kind of annoyingly, it is the same notation as population proportion. So P is still for proportion percentage uh, probability, but it's now for a single success when we look at binomial probability. All right, so then on this problem, we're looking at the probability that x equals 10. And, excuse me, just want to note here with this notation where x is, uh, I'm going to write the number of homes that are owner occupied out of 15, right? Because we're looking at that fixed sample size. So out of 10 homes, we're, out of 15 homes, what's probably exactly 10 out of 15 are um, owner occupied. So to compute this probability, I want to go over to the software. So I posted a link up here. You're going to be allowed to use this software uh, on exams if you want. Um, and the reason I have this separate software is a stat key does not really do a great job of um, binomial probability. So the first thing I want to do when we're looking at this probability calculator is change the setting right here from normal to binomial. And notice right here I have n and p. So I need to enter that information. Here n is 15, p is 65. So 15 and tab over 0 0.65. I'm going to click on enter. see everything. And notice we have a couple things show up. We have the binomial distribution right here. And then here I have a table on the side. So for this problem, I'm trying to find out the probability that exactly 10 of the 15 homes uh, are unoccupied. So I can do that two different ways. I could just look over here when k is 10, we're given 0. 0.2123. So this is actually the probability of 21.23%. Or I could use this uh, bottom option right here. I could do left side, x is less than, right side, x is greater than. If I want to be equal to, I'm going to do interval. And I need to make both of these values 10. Now one kind of annoying thing about the software, JoJoBird does not like this because it needs to make sure this um, left entry is smaller than the right entry. I'll change both of these values 
to 10, click enter, and notice in this entry we get 0.2123. All right, and looking at the second question on here, probability that 13 or more of the homes out of 15 are owner occupied. So that's P is X is greater than or equal to 13. So since P is greater than 13, I go to GeoGebra, excuse me. I wanna click left side. Let me know right here, I'll put this down. We're looking for the probability that X is greater than or equal to 13. question mark so we need so we're looking for a left sided probability so in here I want to click on the oh sorry right side excuse me because we're greater than 13 so it's to the right of 13 so right X is greater than or equal to and I want to change that to 13 I notice on the software package it highlights 13, 14, and 15 on the distribution, and it highlights those three entries. So this number, 0 0.0617, are these three probabilities added together. So you could just add these together manually, or if you set up GeoGebra correctly, it'll add them for you. So we get 0 0.0617. All right, one more thing. Um, mean and standard deviation of binomial distribution. I think there's one or two homework questions that involve uh, the mean and standard deviation. Um, I think it's the next question on the homework that asks that. We could, mean formula is, use mu for um, mean or average, is just n times p. And standard deviation, normally this is a very annoying formula to deal with, but in this case, it's just the square root of n times p times you know, the opposite of p. So we could plug in these uh, values in, for n in this case would be 15, p would be 0.65, and then I would plug in 15.65 and then 0.35 here, 1 minus 0.65, take the square root. But with this software, you don't actually need these formulas because it computes those values up here. So as soon as you enter n and the probability p of a single success, it will automatically give you your mean and standard deviation.